I'm broke, lost, and confused. And in the next 30 days, I'm gonna learn how to become Hollywood's next biggest director. The rate of unemployment is up 116.64% for recent grads compared to the national average, and nearly 32% of them are living with their parents. As someone who studied film in college, well, those numbers skyrocket for folks like me. And even though I run my own video production company, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm any closer to becoming the man I want to be. Plus, freelance is just a fancy way of saying unemployed and unemployable. Look, I want to tell stories that have people cry, laugh, and feel seen. Because I want to feel seen on screen. I want to turn my production company into a full-blown powerhouse that blows A24 out of the water. Okay. We can share the thrill. My beef is the drawbridge into the entertainment industry is wildly tough to cross, let alone bring down. Girl boss, gaslight, gatekeep, the entertainment industry is a labyrinth, unless you know somebody on the side. And even then, still wildly tough. Disculpa que no podemos ayudar más is a phrase I've heard countless times from my parents as I beg them not to think it's their fault that they don't have Spielberg on speed dial for a letter of rec. So I need to sneak my way in. I don't care how I'm succeeding. One way or another, I'm gonna prove my worth. If I'm not gonna be hired to make my dream projects, then I'm gonna make them myself. I think if there's anything that I've learned this year, it's that repetition is severely underrated. I remember early in the spring, I decided to start making a change. It was one of the most productive times I'd had in a long, long time. I decided to start waking up really early. And by early, I mean like, really. It was like four or 5 a.m and I would take a shower, make breakfast, and I would immediately go to the gym. The gym was like another 10 minute walk job, so it was even better to like catch some fresh air really early in the morning. And immediately after, I'd finish up some homework from the night before, go to class, make dinner, wind down, go to bed, and start the process all over again. Wake up super early, make some breakfast, take a shower, walk, go to the gym, do some homework, go to class, some more homework, dinner, sleep. And it was really nice. And it was one of the first times that I realized that chaos is very fun in the short term. But if I want to sustain myself, and maybe this won't work for everybody, but this really worked for me, repetition was the key to do it. It was making me perform at my best. My art seems less jumbled. I seem focused. Now, unfortunately, that um, schedule didn't exactly stick. Thinking back on it, I think I need to start that back up again. I need to have that rigid schedule, rigid everything, so that I can get back on track. And in part with repetition, that doesn't only need breakfast. And that's why I'm doing this challenge. Because I want to become a director. And to do that, I need to repeat the processes of making a movie. So I'm going to be doing my best to make as many videos as I can in these 30 days. And on that level, while I do have some great work now, I know that if I keep making more and more and more, someone's bound to see it. And all it takes for you to be discovered or succeed is for one special person to see it. One person with power, one person with influence to see it. And that could change your entire career. I wanna make movies. And if I wanna be doing this more than just in my bedroom alone, I need to start doing this more. First order of business is kicking executive dysfunction's ass. I swear to God, I, I'm scrolling like there is no end. Except here's the thing, the other day, I got to the end of TikTok's For You page, which shouldn't be possible. They call it the endless scroll for a reason. And I feel like sometimes I'm hearing that people say it's just laziness, but I think the toughest part is the fact that you are trapped inside of a vessel. You're screaming to be let out and do something. But for some reason, your muscles just, they, they don't respond. I feel like I gotta take more agency in what I know is important and start screaming harder. Not to do whatever I need to do, I feel like that doesn't work, just simply yelling out, you have to do this, you have to do that, come on, you're, you're not worth anything if you don't finish that. I feel like that just makes me want to cower up and sink into a deeper place. So instead of that, I think I need to approach it from a little more empathy. I think one of the best pieces of advice I've gotten for this is approach it as if you're not screaming at yourself, but you are trying to get the attention of your best friend. Approach them with empathy, right? In that, you end up having like this nice little conversation with yourself. 
which one gets you off your phone, two gets you to jump up and start doing it. It is tough though, so I think at the end of the day I just I just need to give myself some more empathy. I'm outside now and it's freaking cold because it's like the Chicago suburbs in February, almost March. That's that's Illinois for you. Two days ago, I was at the beach. Anyways, so I just want to have a little bit of a candid conversation with you guys about what this will actually entail and what my full true feelings are towards breaking in and making my mark. I graduated from Northwestern seven, maybe eight months ago. Um, that being I graduated a year early. I kept saying it was because I wanted to jump out there as soon as I could. And eight months in, my mark is really small. Because um, I've been applying to hundreds of jobs and I've been networking with dozens of people in the industry. I've been having cold calls, cold emails, cold everything. And they all lead to cold trails. And I'm not, I'm not making this section of the video, I'm not saying this just to rant and kind of shit on everything. It's just important to say this. I'm saying this because I know somewhere out there, there's another Alan, there's another me, someone like me, who also just graduated or is about to graduate, and they're so lost. I know that this video would simultaneously lift them up, but also kind of really shit on them, because it's not that easy. And I wanna, I wanna confront that. Honestly, I, I felt like I was really gonna give up a few days ago when I was rejected from a job that I had applied to in LA. And it's like, yeah, I've been, I've been rejected to jobs in the past eight months before, but this one felt like it was gonna happen. I felt ready. I was hyping myself to move too. So all this that happens, it's helped me come to realize and think really hard on what I really want and what my next steps really should be if that is my end game. It's making a production company that tells the stories that I want to hear. And I wanted to build that empire through more traditional means. And if I'm just doing this kind of the indie route, doing it all by myself, not in LA, staying in Chicago, I won't really get to know the right people. So I want to take things into my own hands. You know there's such thing as the American lean that you can tell who's American by who's leaning on something? I swear to God, once you, once you hear that, you'll notice it everywhere. Anyways, so what are these 30 days of challenges even gonna entail? Firstly, I'm gonna walk you guys through what I think I did wrong throughout field school and what I did right. So you guys don't commit the same mistakes that I did. And so I'm able to focus on and really hone down what I need to work on and what's gonna get me further in life. Then I wanna write as many feature scripts as I can. Just get them out of my system. And even if they're not the best stories in the world, I just want to get them out because it's not V1 that matters, it's version 2, version 3, version 4, right? That's where the magic happens. And there's challenge 3. Work on different genres. Go from pre to post production, writing to editing, all with different genres. Try out comedy, drama, sci-fi. I love sci-fi. But hey, the point of this challenge is so I see, maybe I'm better at romance. I mean, who knows? Not to brag, but even though I don't have a girlfriend, I can write Liz, right? <laughs> right? And lastly, and what I'm most excited about, is what I'm gonna call the 30-day the capsule, 30-day thesis. I want to make a really awesome music video, or a really awesome short film, or a really awesome commercial. I wanna make something awesome at the end of these 30 days, to see how much growth I can have in just one month. And I know I'm not gonna become Hollywood's next biggest director in just 30 days, but I know that this is the start of a changed mindset that will get me to become Hollywood's next biggest director. Outside. I'm not saying this to bum you guys out. I'm saying this to be realistic. I was listening to this podcast um, that motivated me in a really weird way. It was essentially this guy saying, "Dude, you're not. You're not going to get there. You're not going to achieve these goals. They're way too big." And they're for people that are more talented than you. Just accept that like most people, you're mediocre. And I don't know why that just kind of flipped a switch in me. And all I wanted to do 
was prove them wrong at this random person on the screen that I've never met. Because I know I can prove them wrong. I know what I'm worth and I know that I can succeed in this. So I put this challenge upon myself. And then I listened to a song that I've been listening to for a while because it's, it's freaking everywhere. End of the Beginning by Joe. Every time I listen to that song, I just, I see myself through my future self, looking back at me in, in Chicago and seeing how far I've come from. And I guess wherever I end up, like, I, I know that there's, I, I simply, I can't not succeed. It's, it's not an option. I'm, I'm gonna make it. I don't give a shit what comes in my way. I can't do anything else. It's this. Or it's nothing. I feel it.